Alright, so welcome back to the channel guys, it is me, 8744, so today guys we're doing our Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League predictions, we'll be predicting all the semifinals respectively guys, and like I said guys, let me know your predictions in the comments below guys, remember guys to like this video if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new out here, comment down below your thoughts, comment section below, consider becoming a member of the channel, and yeah, check out me and my other platforms in the description below, and also hit the bell notification to be, to be notified whenever I go live. Let's start with the first. Uh, let's start with the Champions League games first. So we're starting here. Marker at thirty seconds. Okay. So we have the first game here. It's Real Madrid Man City. I'll keep this short and brief, guys. Hopefully around ten minutes. Um, for me, guys, I'm gonna say that I think it's gonna be a draw. I feel as though that this could be a high scoring draw. I just feel like Manchester City will dominate Real Madrid. I just feel like Manchester City will dominate Real Madrid. They'll create most of the chances, and I think they'll, they'll, um, they'll do it. For Real Madrid, I think they're going to have their few chances, but I do think they'll be clinical with their chances, unlike Man City. And I feel like this is going to be a draw. I'm going to say, for me, it's either 1-all or 2-all. I don't think it's 0-0. I don't think it's going to be 0 nil because I think Real Madrid will definitely concede. So it will be at least one goal. I'm tempted to just to play, say, 1-1, one, one, just because I feel like it won't be as exciting as we think it should be, so... I don't know. I'm going to say one all draw. Uh, personally, I'm just going to say one all draw. And I do think Manchester City will score first. I think Manchester City will score first. And I'm going to play my booster for this one as well. And I'm going to say... Obvious answer will be Erling Holland to score first. But I don't think it's going to be that obvious. And I actually think the goal scorer is going to be someone that you probably... Do. I'm going to go with Bernardo Silva. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with KDB. I'm going to go with KDB. I think KDB will perform in this game. Now, let's talk about the Milan Derby. Now, I didn't get it to do my insights for my Champions League preview thing, so I'm going to go ahead and do the real briefly here. So, this will be the fifth time that Milan and International have faced each other in European competitions with Milan unbeaten across the previous four. They previously met at this stage of the UEFA Champions League 2000-2003 with Milan progressing to the final on away goals. Milan and International have already met on three occasions across all competitions 2020-2023 with Inter winning each of the last two. And D, Milan haven't lost three games against Inter in a single campaign since 94-95, two in the Coppa Italia, and one in Syria. After winning 3 2 in their first meeting with Inter Nacional this season, Milan have lost and failed to score in their previous two games against them. The last time they failed to score in three consecutive matches against Inter was between 1979 and 1980 under Matsumoto Gaisumeni. Milan have only just lost one of their previous six semi final matches they hosted at the Galsper Mezes and the Wave of Champions League. One of versus Barca 2005 2006 first leg. In fact, that was the only goal that Milan conceded across the six games at the home t team. Having kept a clean sheet in each of the other five. Interesting. Love only conceded one of the last six matches of the UEFA Champions League with that one lone strike came in the 93rd minute against Napoli last time out. Across the sixth game, they faced eight, 86 shots, 27 shots on target, and have an XG of 6.8. XG against six, of 6 point, despite only conceding one goal. That is incredible, San Siro. This will be a very cagey game, guys. There will not be a lot of goals. There won't be a lot of goals this game. And I forgot to mention, I think Militao is suspended for the first leg. But yeah, getting back to this game, I... Feels as though that Rafael Leao injury is going to hurt Milan. I think he's going to hurt Milan. I'm not sure how long he's going to be out for. Um, let me look at the football thing, see what he's out for. Because he was injured against, um, he came at the 11th minute against Lazio. That could be a huge, huge injury. Huge blow um, for Milan there. So let me go ahead and actually check this out in detail. So yeah, it's going to be late May 2023. So I think he's going to for sure miss the first leg. He may potentially be back for the second leg. Although, I'm not really sure. Uh, obviously, for Inter, Gossens is out. Skriniar is out. And Ambrosio. So, it's a very difficult one to call, guys. A very, very difficult one to call. I'm going to personally say this is going to be a 1-0 Inter win. I think Inter will actually get the job done. I just feel as though that Inter, for me, they're just looking in such good form at the moment. And I feel like with Le Leao being injured, that's going to be really, really, um, really hurt Milan in the terms of their attack. And I just feel like, for me, man, look, look let's all Martinez. I just think he's in a... Have a good game, and I just think he's going to turn up in this kind of game, a massive game. And obviously, I just don't think Drew alone is going to be enough. So, yeah, those are my Champions League predictions. Let's go ahead and move on to the Europa League. This won't be as long as the Champions League, so don't worry, guys. So, for Europa League, guys, let's go ahead and go to the Europa League here. So, let's start with the first game, which we have here is Roma versus Bayer Leverkusen. Um, for me, guys, I'm going to say Roma's going to win this just because of the home team. Although, I'm kind of worried about what Leverkusen can do because. Leverkusen for me look really solid. So 
I'm going to say Roma wins 2-1, and I think Kumbolo is injured, and Chick is out, and Lunev is out. So I'm going to go with a 2-0 win for Roma, and I think Paula Dybello is going to do this. I think Dybello is going to have a master class in this game, and I think he's going to come clutch in this game. So Paula Dybello to do this, man. So I'm going to go with a 2-1 win. Next up is Juventus versus Sevilla. A, net, a very, very interesting one, guys. Um, obviously, we know how this one's going to pan out. Very low scoring. De Siglio is out for Juventus. Kyle Jorge is out, and for Sevilla... Nianzu is out, Morcal is out, Juan Jordan is out, Jesus Corona is out. I'm going to go with Juventus to also narrowly win this one. I think it's going to be a very cagey game, very, very low scoring. And I just feel like for me, Juventus will just do all, they'll just do what Allegri does. Just get the result, you know, defend like Warriors, and I think they'll just do it. So I'm going to go with Juventus to win 1-0, and I think Di Maria will score the game-winning goal to give Juventus the lead. And for my booster which one do i play my booster pool i'm more inclined to the juventus sevilla just because i feel leverkusen have a better chance than sevilla for me personally now we move on to the next one we have here is the europa conference league so let me get my marker here so 605 okay um okay let's do the conference league um, let's start with the first game. We got West Ham versus AZ Alkmaar. Now, West Ham have just come off a of beating um, Manchester United in a huge, huge win. That's a massive, massive win for West Ham United um, to survive um, to, in, in attempts to, you know, obviously survive the Premier League. And yet, for Manchester United, man, they're looking, um, not for Manchester United, sorry, West Ham United, they're looking great, man. Defensively, they looked pretty solid. Their attack also looked good, too. They scored two offside goals. And I think for West Ham, man, can they carry that over in the conference league? Because that's the thing with West Ham, I feel like. Sometimes they can do really well in the Premier League game and then not do so well in the, the thing. So can they carry that over? Because Declan Rice for me was fantastic. He's going to have to have an amazing game in this game. I think I'm going to go with West Ham to win this. I think it's going to be very close though, but I'm going to just about to say they'll win this. I'll say they win this three goals to one. Maybe I'm giving West Ham too much faith, but yeah, I do think um, maybe three one's a bit much. I'll say 2 nil actually. I'll say 2 nil. I think that's... More of a fair scoreline, and I think West Ham will do it. But then again, though, AZ Alkmaar, their attack is pretty good. You know, Pavel Delis, the standout name, of course, for them. So, West Ham, who's going to score that goal for them? I'm going to say it's going to be Mikel Antonio. I think he's going to score, and I'm going to play um, that. And then my next away is Fiorentina versus Basel. Actually, I forgot to look at the injuries for West Ham um, thing real quick. So, let's go look at West Ham. Do they have any injuries? Um, just look at this real quickly. West Ham versus AZ Alkmaar. So they got Kufal that's out, Zuma is out, Skamaka is out. And for A's Alkmaar, they got Westerveld, Carlson, Donny DeWitt, Brunos Martins Indy. So, yeah, Skamaka is going to be very, not going to be great, Zuma. So, actually, you know what? Maybe I might just go with 3-1. Because I do think they're going to concede a goal. Because I just feel like, for me, Agora is going to have to do a good job defensively. So, maybe I'll just say 2-1. I'll just say 2-1. Okay. So, Fiorentina versus Basel. Um... Fiorentina obviously coming off their uh, uh, loss to Napoli. Now, they did play a second. I, I, I think they kind of prioritized this game. So, you know, not really in the best form as of recently. But I still think Fiorentina is still a good team. And then obviously Basel, you know how they are. They lost at home to Zurich. So, they're going to put all their eggs in this Conference League basket. So, Fiorentina obviously, Sergio's out. Carball is out. Ricardo Coffey is out for Basel. Fry is out. Comas is out. Palmer. So, I'm going to go at Fiorentina just to win this. I'm going to say they win this two goals to nil. I'm pretty confident in this prediction. I feel like Fiorentina, for me, just have the quality of players, what it takes. And I feel like they'll just get the job done. I feel like, for me, this Basel team, for me, I just feel like, I feel like they're, I feel like they're going to, they might push, but I feel like Fiorentina just have too much quality. Just, they really do. So, I'm going to play my booster for this one. So, remember, guys, I'll be reviewing the games on Wednesday and Thursday, respectively, um, um, for the matches. So, I believe Wednesday will have it at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And I think Thursday we're going to have it at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So, like I said, guys, I hope you guys can join for the reactions. And, yeah, like I said, guys, remember guys to like this stream if you haven't already. I mean, like this video if you didn't enjoy. Subscribe if you're new here. Comment below your thoughts. Comment section below. Check out my other posts in the description below, guys. Because you're becoming a member of the channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.